Oh, hello there! Welcome to Sand Wizards, home of the Sand Wizards. How may I help you? Can we have three sand wizards, please? <laughs> <laughs> and you see the half world express. Do you want to walk around the train? Does this train? I mean, what you see in front of you is like a tall box as it is a warforge. Oh. Well, hello there. Would you like anything from the trolley? My name's Pip. You guys are working hard. Does the Are you guys being paid enough? Does the train company treat you guys pretty good? I don't really take money. I just enjoy being on the track. You just hear from down the hall, no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Prepare to Dice, the animated show where we try to improvise a collaborative story through roleplay and dice. My name is Raghav and I'm your humble game master and I'm probably going to be interrupted any second by- Yo la la losers, it's me Rocco, <laughs> your girl, played by Christine, your other girl. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, Jax, do you want to go next? Not after that. You wanna, do you want to follow that up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how are you supposed to follow that up? Oh my god. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Jagriti and I play Poppy Seeds. Howdy, I'm Andrew and I play Timbo Wainson. Uh, hi, I'm Dingo and I'm playing Penny today. What's up nerds, I'm Felix. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna be playing <laughs> All right, get ready to roll and let's prepare the dice. Check your friends on the table, make a check if you're fable. It's fight for your life and there's nowhere left to go. Feelings surround you, but you'd rather it's a fun through you here on tonight. In your heart, run. Can you answer the call and pay the price? Is a game of sacrifice? Let us know if we can help carry luggage or uh, or anything we can do to help, you know, if there's something I can do, I can be an extra pair of hands. As this conversation goes on, uh, you guys enter a tunnel, everything just goes dark, and it's very short, it's like less than 10 seconds where everything goes dark, and you suddenly hear a shriek coming from the next compartment. You hear a woman's voice going, help, help, someone please help! Well, I guess we need help with that. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Cool, let's go ahead. And then she just like turns her body, swivels it, and then she's going down. Yeah, so we follow her. I was like, you guys want to be nosy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we should check that out too. Yeah. I mean, Luck will also go to investigate. He's like still carrying the luggage, I guess, but he's just he's rushing over there. <laughs> You guys rush over to the compartment and you find a few people surrounding what looks like a dead man. He's laying on one of the sleeper beds with shades on and his one hand is hanging limp. And you can see his face is kind of bruised and bloody. The blood is caked dry on his person. There are dents on his body that suggest like heavy impacts. Uh, everybody go ahead and make a perception check and then also tell me what you would like to do. This train has been going, what, 10 minutes? He died <laughs> 10 minutes into the train. He couldn't last. Last 10 minutes on this train. <laughs> the murderer was just like, oh boy! It's his fault for being dead. He couldn't last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 15 plus my modifier of 2 for a 17. I have a 16 plus 5, so 21. I got a 12 plus 2. Uh, I actually, okay, I'm not shitting you, but I rolled a nat 20 on my first roll. Whoa, <laughs> oh, wow. So I just wasted it on perception. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got a nine minus one, so that's eight. Oh, Lug. It's all the baggage. It's, <laughs> it's all, all the baggage. Luggage. Yeah, Lug, you you are you don't even see the dead body. You're still looking at luggage. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, what's happening? <laughs> uh, so the rest of you, you notice uh, that there's a dead body there, obviously. And um, the other people there, you see a, a bovine female. So there's a woman who looks like a cow in a summery dress. She's clutching a small purse. She's clearly the person who had screamed. Um, and you see a male elf, a dwarven female, and an amorphous blob wearing a top hat. <laughs> Penny, with your nat 20, I'll tell you that you also notice that there is, uh, under the seat, there is a large ornate box. Uh, all right. Well, um, everybody stay, stay calm. I'm just gonna ask for you all to move aside while I expect the maybe deceased passenger <laughs> <laughs> uh make a persuasion check just to see if um, everyone sort of listens to you uh, 
that's not super high. I mean, that's a 10. That's fine. Uh, one of them got a 9, one of them got a 1. Only the bovine female got a nat 20. She's still standing there. She's kind of like in shock. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand <laughs> what's happening. I, I was just sitting in the wrong compartment. So I came in here and I found him on my seat. No, oh, please don't tell me there's a murderer on the train. And she just starts weeping. Oh. Is Luck getting this right? Did, did she sit on the guy and kill him? <laughs> <laughs> I want to give a little like elbow jab to Rocco and be like, hey, someone should tell her not to have a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy says, this is not the time for jokes. <laughs> time and place. Time and place. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can I see what the box is about? The, the luggage bag? Mm, I wonder what that could be. It looks very ornate. I like this Detective Poppy character. A spin-off series. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to go look at it. I want to go may, look at may it. I, may I smack her hand if she tries to reach for the box? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's do opposed dexterity checks. I have an 18. I got a 7 plus 6. It's a 13. And I say to Lug, Lug, you're not the only one who can lug baggage. <laughs> Maybe we should hire her. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Can I then check it? Yeah. Make what an investigation check. I have 18, rather. So, looking at it, it looks uh, really strange and sort of otherworldly. It doesn't look like it's made on this plane. I, you ha you get the feeling that it might be made on the other side of this earth. Uh, can I use, like, Arcana or, like, one of those, like, things to sort of figure out what it could be? Yeah, you can do that. I'll also tell you that you can tell that this is box is not locked, so you can just open it. But is it dangerous? Okay. Go ahead and make an arcana check. Uh, in the meantime, is there anything anyone else would like to do? There's a crying cow lady. Yes. <laughs> and you can stop me if this doesn't make sense, because I think it might not make sense. But can I try to pull a pushing daisies? <laughs> I have a sandwich that brings people back to life. This dude seems dead. What if I try to give him the sandwich? But is he like too dead? Is he too dead for a sandwich? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's nothing. Is that nothing? <laughs> you can do whatever you get like. How about this? How about this? I don't want to wait. I don't know if it's going to work. So I don't want to waste the whole sandwich. But I tear off a little piece of it. So the uh, sandwich of life, the loaf of life only works one time. So if you give him one piece, then now it's just a regular sandwich. Oh, okay. Maybe never mind. I like my friends and adventurers <laughs> more than I like this freaking rando who's dead on a train. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to establish a timeline really quickly. So neither of these characters were in this apartment and before the we went through the tunnel just a moment ago so i'd like to ask when they all arrived here and when like if they were in here before the body arrived or if the body appeared or if they came here just moments ago and found a body in a cabin all together at the same time it's good that we should definitely question these people but first let's just like get them out of this compartment as there is a dead body here and i would <laughs> like to call some authority here all right and also, you you got it, Penny. I'll, can I grab the the cow lady's hand and and walk with her to another another cabin compartment? Another compartment. <laughs> Uh, as the rest of you are sort of ushering the others out, the elf male is like, uh, we just arrived when we heard the scream. We were all in different compartments. We just came running. I guess this train is kind of, I don't know, no one's on it. Slow season. It's, it's, it's the slow season, so don't worry about it too much. Poppy, so uh, what did you get on your account? 23. 23, yeah. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you that there is, there is magic inside of what's in there. You can like feel it sort of in a general sense that there's something magical going on here. The design of the box is very similar to something that you've seen before something that you've this box is not a good thing think about what is going on and think about who this box could actually belong to and i'm thinking it's maybe not a very good thing for all of us to leave the compartment because someone needs to keep an eye on the box and the dead body well isn't penny staying there to sort of like i'm calling authority first this is a code red we're doing code red. Code red. Got it. <laughs> did we like split up like in a horror movie? Is that what we did? <laughs> but I'd, I'd like to hover there. I'll be out of the room, but by the door. Uh, so if we're splitting up, let's go ahead and roll initiative so that I have a turn order. I rolled a three plus four for an initiative of seven. I got uh, an 11 and then plus one, 12. I got a six plus two, so it's an eight. Uh, I got a 19. I got a 12. If Rocco is still there, like I have like a little inner monologue going on in my head, like after the arcana check and everything. And I'm like, hmm, could this belong to the Lich Queen and stuff like that? You know, I'm like, I have doubts. I have my doubts. I have a very bad feeling about this. Yeah, it probably is sinister. There's a dead body in there. 